Hey there, so I just wanted to make a quick video for the first project in the foundations section of the Odin project. So you've gone through some introductory stuff and installations. You've learned a little bit about command line and Git. And then you start diving into HTML foundations. And your first project is to make a very simple recipes website, which is outlined here. And this is a typical uh, project page where you'll get a bit of detail about the project, how to set it up, and then you'll get a core assignment telling you what you need to do. And some assignments or projects have more description than others, depending on where you're at in the course. Um, so what we're going to do is take a look at my GitHub. So this is my uh, Odin Recipes repository on GitHub, and this is public. And I recommend you keep your repositories public so other people can view them. But in the README, it's always a good idea to have a brief description of what the project was about and a view live link if possible. And I think it's best practice also to include a screenshot of that, which is something I should really go back and do to uh, the bulk of my project. But here we go. This is what it looks like. A very simple first website that I made for the Odin, Odin project um, and as you can see I tried to make it a little bit fun and I have, do find that that helps to f engage you in your project if you do make something that's either funny or interesting for yourself. So the idea here is just a, a very simple landing page with three different recipes. So we've got lasagna, a slight description, quick description of what it is, the ingredients list, and then the steps to make it and a home button that takes you back. And there's three of those. So we've got a soup page, which is the identical layout for a different recipe. And lastly, a salad recipe as well. So I just had a little bit of fun here with, you know, the styling and, and making it a little bit uh, funky, I, I guess you could say. Um, I chuckled at this GIF and, you know, I, I enjoyed making this as my first website. Uh, so let's go back to my GitHub here. And these are the files that I use to create that. So your basic structure is usually you have an index file in your, in your root folder for the project. And then for GitHub, you'll always have a readme. And then your other files for CSS and images and other HTML pages are going to be stored in separate folders. So looking at the index page here, it's very straightforward. You can just see you just set setting up the head in your HTML and there's an H1, the image of that uh, that GIF and a basic paragraph and then a list. So these are the core concepts that are being tested. Just setting up your HTML like that. And then if we go into the, each of the recipes pages, each three of these are the same in their structure, just the picture is different. Uh, and the text, again, setting up a, a separate HTML document with your head and a link to style sheet. It has a title that shows up in the, uh, the, the bar of your browser. And then within the body, we have an H1, an image, an H2, and a paragraph then an H4 and a list and another H4 with a longer ordered list. So this is an un unordered list and an ordered list, which will give you the numbers. Uh, and then a link down to your homepage at the bottom. So very straightforward. These are some of the, you know, the foundational HTML tags that you'll be using all the time. And this is a very basic website to put all of those together. And then your images are stored in a separate folder and they get referenced to <coughs> in your HTML. And finally, your CSS with some very basic styling in here. So just setting some styles for the body in the font color, font size, and background color. And then some styling for your H1, the images to give them a box shadow. And these are different classes. As you can see, I was having fun with those class names. I wouldn't recommend doing that in a, uh, a serious capacity, but I knew for this I could just kind of have, have fun with it. So that is it. That's your very first project 
for the Odin project. It's very straightforward and very simple. So hopefully you get to this point and you learn some things and you have fun. And as always, if you do have any questions or comments, throw them down below. Thank you.